the cab of the William Crooks, the very first locomotive of the very first train ever in Minnesota. It's in the Lake Superior Railroad Museum, and I'm going to tell you more about it and why we're here. So come on up in the cab. We know that everything has changed. We're here in the St. Louis County Depot and the Lake Superior Railroad Museum, and as you look around, it's closed. There's nobody here. The building is shut down, as is much of our lives. But through our virtual reality tours each and every day, you'll be able to see a different aspect of the museum. We'll take you inside some of these great artifacts, like this engine here, the first one in Minnesota, the William Crooks. We'll take you into the deep recesses of the building itself. Built in 1892 on the National Register of Historic Places, we'll take you into the deep, dark corners of the nooks and crannies. We're gonna take you into other cool exhibits like the Crooks, some of my favorites to be exact, like my most favorite, the Car Masabi. This is one of my favorites. The Car Masabi is normally not open to the general public. You need one of these to get inside. This car was built in 1893 for the Merritt family of Duluth. And what a story it is. It's a beautiful car that tells the story of why we are all here. But I think we'll save this for another video, maybe in a day or so. We're in the China car in the Lake Superior Railroad Museum, very popular with our guest visitors when we're open. They enjoy looking at all the great china on display in the cabinets, but very few get to look at what's stored inside the drawers. Over 35,000 pieces of railroad china, accoutrements for the table like creamers and silverware and maybe even egg cup. We'll take a look inside these drawers and show you some real historic artifacts from the golden age of railroad dining. Our virtual tours are going to take you to some of the most popular exhibits in the museum, like this Milwaukee Road Electric 10200. It's a box cab. And why is it here? Come and see. This particular artifact is really kind of rare, certainly to Minnesota. It was run by the Milwaukee Road Railroad, and they had a problem. They got the worst transcontinental route. They got the highest peaks with the steepest grades, and they needed to do something, so they built this. An electric locomotive in 1915. Westinghouse made it. This is the very first one to conquer those steep grades and high mountains that the Milwaukee Road had encountered on their less than perfect trip across the United States. So why is it that an engine that ran in Montana on the Milwaukee Road would be displayed and saved here at the Lake Superior Railroad Museum in Duluth, Minnesota? It is a great story and we'll cover it on one of our coming episodes. So let's face it, we got a crazy virus Everything changes from day to day. You can't come to us, but we can come to you because the mission of the Lake Superior Railroad Museum is to preserve, interpret, and present to the public the history of railroading, especially as it relates to our area. So, every day, a new episode. If you have an idea for one, contact us. We'll take you to that place you've never been before here at the museum. In the meantime, please, cover your coughs, wash your hands, don't touch your face, keep your social distance, and hey, let's take care of each other.